Dead is next week. It is a tradition in Mexico that's celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. Now, part of the holiday involves building altars to honor the lives of loved ones who've died. So we learned how to put one together and the significance of what we put on them. Via de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, is one of the world's most festive traditions held annually to honor and remember those who have passed away. And there's many ways to do that. One of the most traditional is to build an ofrenda. Or an altar, which come in all different sizes. I've seen them really big. Can they also be small? Yes, look at this little one I made for my nana. It's inside of a mint tin. It really is about adding your own personality, whatever you feel is best. There are some important elements behind them, so we spoke to artist Kathy Cano Murillo, aka the Crafty Chica, to walk us through a few. It's a time when it's believed that the spirits of the departed can come back and visit their loved ones, which is why we build the ofrenda to lure them. This is what I love about it is that everything has so much intention behind it. Every altar is personalized to honor a loved one, most notably by adding their photograph and some beloved items to make them feel at home. Their spirits are coming to visit, so you want to be ready for them. Kathy added photos of her grandmothers. I love that you actually have her Mary Kay lipstick there. Yes, if she came back and I didn't have her lipstick, she might be a little upset. I added photos of my grandma, father-in-law, and of course my dog Jeter with his Aww. collar. Hopefully he's coming back to visit because if he comes back, he's gonna wanna go for a walk. Another object used to represent the departed, sugar skulls. They're very beautiful, they're very intricate, but also very important for your altar. They're made from a molded melted sugar and meringue powder mixture and adorned with royal icing. The sweetness represents the sweetness of life and that's why they're sugar skulls. We remember that even though the body has passed on and the person's not here, it's the sweetness of life lasts forever. And speaking of sweet, we move on to the pan de muerto, or bread of the dead. It is a light and fluffy sweet bread. If you look at the top, it looks like bones are on the top. It's a special offering for the dead to enjoy, and you can usually find it at the grocery store or your local bakery during this time. Finally, the essential flower of every altar, marigolds. Can't have Dia de los Muertos without your marigolds. They can be real or artificial, and they're used not just for their beauty, but also for their scent. They have a very strong aroma, and that is what lures the spirits. They can follow that. In the end, every element comes together to celebrate a life that was lost. When they go back to the afterlife, they can brag about what we did for them here on Earth. <laughs> oh, you know my grandma's bragging about it. Yes. <laughs> and that's your breakdown of Day of the Dead Altars.